What's going on, everybody? It is Dan here with Right Now Powder Coating. And in this episode, we're going to talk about something I don't think we've ever covered before, and that's primers and when I like to use them and what kind I like to use. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Grab yourself a cold drink, sit back, and let's see if we can learn something. So when we're doing still products, a lot of times we like to put down a base coat of primer. Um, it's a great way to add corrosion protection, stop rusting, all the good stuff that you don't want to, or all the bad stuff that you don't want to have happen while your metal's outside. So when we use primer, it basically comes down to two things, whether we think it needs it and whether the customer thinks it needs it. Now, one of my first questions anytime we're going to talk about adding primer to a product is what durability that customer wants in their product. Where is the product going to be? So I always ask them, hey, is this going outside? Well, today we're shooting a sanitation stand, which you can see back there, and this customer states that it can be inside or outside. Well, the previous powder coater who was doing these was not putting a primer on it, which scares the heck out of me. So we are going to put a zinc rich primer on these. It's actually already in the oven. I've got a cart full. It's about to come out. We only gel out these primers and then we add the top coat and do a full cure. So we're going to pull that out and then we're going to talk a little bit more about the product itself. Alright guys, this is the powder that we're using from American Powder Coating, um, and it's an epoxy zinc rich primer. Again, I, I like the zinc rich on anything that we're going to, uh, on any still products that are going to see outside weather as far as rain, snow, and all that kind of stuff. Basically, uh, the zinc rich primer is part of a group of coatings that are known as a sacrificial system. So um, the zinc in it is actually electronically active. Um, so it protects the steel as far as uh, when it comes to the corrosion. So as, as it starts to see moisture, that zinc in the primer actually um, corrodes before the substructure will. So it's um, perfect for wet conditions, perfect for what we're doing here. These are the parts now out of the oven into the booth. We're going to go ahead and top coat them with our Sky White from APC also. This probably isn't the best white we use. You'll see a lot of it up in the air. You'll see a lot of it on the floor. Their primer actually sticks really well. Um, we just sprayed it and it had just a light dusting on the floor. So you'll see that the white kind of goes up in the air more. It doesn't attract uh, to the part as good. Um, also notice my gun, how far I'm away from the part. When you're doing recoats, if you get too close, you're going to start seeing that back ionization. So you want to make sure you're eight eight to ten inches away from the part just let the paint go to the part and it will do what it needs to do so let's get going on the paint
All right, so there you have it. Um, wrapping up this last little bit and then I'm gonna shove them back in the oven and we're gonna go ahead and do a full cure. So we have a gel cure underneath on the primer and then it will do a full cure with the top coat and that's how you get your good uh, adhesion between the two layers. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done and then you will see the final product when they're done. If you have any questions or anything, as always, make sure to leave a comment. Give us that thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, we love suggestions on what you guys want to learn and see, so make sure you let us know, and make sure to subscribe. It helps us out a ton, and we will catch you guys on the next one.